Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a Halloween -y set. I'm going to be using this Amir Secret Orange from the Fruity Collection, Glitter Bells Carbon Black, and the Glitter Bells Clear, well, glass slippers. And I'm going to be using this CJP Pink Peach Sorbet. So, a bit of a mixture of brands. I'm trying to just use things that I have in my collection. And I have quite a lot of different brands so we will see how we get on I've kind of got a plan in mind but I'm just gonna get like just go with it and just see what happens I'm gonna keep them the shape that they are already let me see which brushes I want to use oh I have got a cold guys so please do like ignore my coldness Ugh. I want a bit of a bigger brush, but I think I'm just going to have to go with... Have a look at this one. My brushes all need... Like, look at the state of that. What have I done? My brushes all need cleaning. I need to go, like, do a big clean out. Maybe I could do a video on that, actually. Right, okay, I'm going to go in with my... Actually, where's my Kirsty Meekin one? There we go. That one's slightly bigger, I think. Hopefully this one should be okay. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to do the pinky finger just full orange and then do something probably on it. Maybe. Or maybe. I don't know. Let's just go with it and see what happens. I have got an, an idea in mind. So, But for this one, I'm just going to go in with the orange. It's quite an luminous orange. Oh, gosh. I am sorry if I sound a bit sniffly, guys. It's been a while since I've worked with these colours and I should probably remind myself that we paint with these uh, Mia Secret colours I feel like I don't have space I just don't have space to do what I need to do This is a really like bright orange. Don't mind the scrunchie on my wrist. I might take that off because that's going to get in the way. I'm sorry if I'm a bit quiet, guys. I will try and um, talk as much as I can throughout this video, but... I feel like I want to put something on this nail, but I don't know what. Maybe like a... I could try stamping, but... Hmm, I'm not sure. This one, this one's going to be, hmm, orange. Do this one orange as well. I want this to be predominant orange set. So I'm going to obviously be using the black. Oh, do you know what? I might not even use the, um, I might not, not use the, what is it, peach one. And just do orange and black. I was going to do a nail bed kind of ombre, but now I'm thinking maybe just try and do... an orange and black ombre instead. Although I don't want there to be that much black in this set, so maybe I'll do a nail bed and orange ombre. Yeah, let's try that. Ugh. So sniffly. I've got lots of different 3D stuff, 
but it's just deciding like what's going to go well with what sets. I kind of want to put some orangey kind of glitter on as well, but that might be for a different set. <clears throat> I find it really difficult to get these colours opaque. Sorry if I'm being slightly... More CD here now. Come on. I think I'm basically not working well enough, but... This is a problem we're using so many different brands. It's difficult to... You kind of never get a chance to get used to one brand because you're always swapping to different ones and they are, you use them all differently. I mean, I'm going to be using three different brands in this video, so... The monomer that I'm using, by the way, is the Glitter Bells monomer. And I'm using that with all of them. So that also will change the, um, the application. So I'm going to do this one as the ombre one. So I'm going to go in with the nail bed colour first. This is the Peach Sorbet. From CJP. It's a really nice um, colour this to be fair. And I have got a nice big tub of it. So this should last me a while. That's high enough up, isn't it? And what I'm going to do on this one is orange and black marble. And then I'm going to do the other finger all black, just so we've got a bit of a mixture going in. And I think... Yeah, I think that's all right for that. Watch this just go terribly wrong now. Isn't really wet enough. Just don't want there to be too much black. I also don't want it all to pool at the end, which is usually what happens when I do marbles like this. Because it's so wet, you want to make sure that you're holding the finger as flat as you can, because it will all pool on the end. Same when you do gel polish ones as well. Oh, quite like that. That's quite Halloweeny and a bit creepy. Right, next one. I'm going to do all black. And I'm sure I'm going to end up turning my monomer black at the same time. 
probably stain in the hand as well. I'm actually going to be really careful and try not to get it anywhere near my fingers. That, wow, that was surprisingly really quite easy to work with that then. That went on really nice and easily. I kind of do want to try doing the, an orange ombre, but I don't think it'll go well. I dare don't. I'm just going to do it all black. I have got another plan later on that, that involves black. Um, I'm wanting to do some that are like a black and red ombres. Some black and nude. Black and orange. Like I've got all sorts of plans so we'll keep this one at just a It's really good because you literally just paint. Um, right. Ooh, I could literally just leave these like that. I quite like them. I'm trying to do some slightly more simpler sets instead of having everything always really like, like really random all the time. So do you know what? I'm thinking I might keep that as it is. I want to do some really simple sets. So with this set now, cap, I'm not going to cap because I just don't need to, but obviously in real life, cap them, file them to how you want them, and then go in with a top coat. So what I'm going to do is go in with a top coat and see what it looks like. And then I might add like some decals or something, but I quite like this set as it is. So I'm going to use my blue sky no wipe top coat. I'm using quite a few different brands here, aren't I? This has actually kind of run out now. I need to open a new one and it's kind of got like glitter on it as well. Let's just see how shiny this one looks. Oh, this was a really easy set. But I really like the um, I really like the outcome. So I hope that you guys are enjoying my vlogoween so far. I don't. I haven't decided yet whether it's vlogoween or vlogtober. But I think. 90% of the videos will be Halloween Halloween related, so. It's going to be very much Halloween. Okay, and then I'm going to cure in the lamp. And this is the finished result. I like it. This is my favourite one, definitely. I hope the light's all right for you guys. But that's the end result. These are super cool. So easy to do, but I really like the effect. They've definitely got some Halloween vibes going on. But actually, you could wear these like any time of the year because there's basically just orange and black nails in it. But 
I'm in mean, black, it's Halloween. -y. So this is the end result. Let me know what you guys think of this set. Let me know which your favorite nail is. I think you will probably agree with me that this is the best one. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you've got any suggestions throughout Halloween. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you loads. Make sure to like and subscribe. Mwah, bye.